Is that right? Yes. Now let's say someone was really hungry and they're my favorite student because they always do their maths homework. Right. Maybe I gave them, shh, no names please. Maybe I gave them this whole pizza. Yes? And I then also gave them another quarter. Uh, I didn't even ask a question. Why are people raising their hands? No. <laughs> Do you understand the situation? Yes. Yes. So someone ate a whole pizza. They probably didn't have dinner. They haven't had breakfast. So I was like, you know what? Just if we've got leftovers. You have the whole pizza. And then he was like, can I have another piece? And because I'm so nice, I was like, okay, just have it. How much of a fraction? I want everyone to write it using a pencil anywhere, please. Like with anywhere, I mean like in a book, but not on the desks. Now. No judging, I'm not checking your answers, but it's just so that you know whether you understand it or not. There are two ways to, I don't need the answers, I just want you to write it down on a piece of paper. In silence, you are capable of that. You don't have to share your answers. There are two ways of writing it. So a lucky student ate four pieces, so one whole pizza and another quarter. I don't want answers yet. I will ask for answers later. 30 seconds. Writing down, please. Okay. Anyone who wants to share their answer? Um, the improper fraction would be for uh, what, five quarters. And the so how five quarters. Tell me what to write exactly because I don't know what five the quarters is. The would be five. Yes. And you draw your curriculum. Yes. And the uh, denominator would be four. That's it. And is there another way of writing it? Um, you can write it as a mixed fraction, um, which is one and one quarter. Is that correct? Yes. 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 For sure. Yes. 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 Any mistake in that? No. no. Sure. Yes. yes. Here you will write. Good. Well done. Oh. Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> Why do you get all stressed when I say is that correct? <laughs> Have some confidence. Now, yes, absolutely correct. The way of saying was correct as well. People use words like improper, improper fractions, which I can't say properly. Pencils down, please, which you should know. And we also use the term called a mixed number. Yes, they're both correct. So, he ate five pieces of a pizza. Each pizza was cut into fours. So, the numerator is the number of pieces that person ate. And the denominator is the number of equal parts that pizza was, sorry, they totally look equal, pretty bad. But you know what I mean, right? So, are we happy with that? Do we understand? Yes. Is this fraction more than one? Yes. yes. So, can you write it that he actually ate a whole pizza, so one, and then he also ate a quarter of another pizza? So, do both of these representations make sense? Yes. Good. Do we understand this bit? Yes. This is called? An improper fraction because we're saying it's part of a whole but the top is heavy so top is bigger than the bottom we call it an improper fraction and we don't leave improper things right do we do improper work no so we always convert it to a mixed number how to do it from one form to the other we'll deal with that later pens down now we're just understanding there's no rush to copy fractions is that clear yes now do we have to use circles no. No. <gasps> who said yes what if I had a rectangular pizza? That means I can't cut it into quarters? Yes, you can. Yeah, you don't allow to. You don't allow. You don't allow to chop rectangular pizza. That's the more. 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 All right. What if you had a cake that was rectangular and you had to make it into, you know, different number of pieces? First important thing, the pieces must be equal. Let's say we are having a party and we have 10 people. 10? I'll make 8 to begin with, just to make your life simpler. Now, I need to divide this into 8. So have I divided into 4? Yes. Just pretend that they're equal. Can I then halve them now? Yes. You kind of get 8 equal? Yes. yes. Just, just let's pretend they're equal. I'm not going to waste time drawing. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. So, first important thing. Are the parts equal? Sort of. What is the number of parts? Eight. Let's say I ate one, but I took 
two home for my son and daughter. I was like, you know what, can I please, there's leftover. I'm not going to chuck it in the bin. Let's take it home for my son and daughter. What fraction of the pizza did I actually take? Whether I ate it or I took it home? Three tenths. Three? Three eighths. Happy with that? Yeah. Is it an improper fraction? No. It's just a normal, proper fraction. So do we understand the top? What does the top represent? Yes. What does the bottom represent? Yes. What's the wind killer? Yes. Yes. That's it. Now, understanding different types of fractions. And a fraction wall is a great idea. So a fraction wall, let's say this is one hole. I can divide a hole, and it doesn't have to be a circle, into any number of equal parts. Is that right? If I want halves, what's the number of equal parts I need? Two. Two. So will that be a half and this be a half? Yes. Yes. Can we see that? Yes. Think. How many halves make one hole? Two. Two. Okay, let's try again. How many halves make a hole? Two. How many halves make a hole? Two. Well done. Excellent. Do we get it now? Yes. Now. Three. Can I make three equal parts now? Yes. So if yes. there's three equal parts, each part will be a third. Yes. So again, roughly, I'm not using a ruler. So can you see? Yes. Yes. Now, question. Is one third greater than a half or less than? Shh. Is one third less than a half or greater than? Less than. Less than. Can we see this is a third of the whole? Yes. And this is a half. So we have a whole of fixed length. And we're dividing that fixed length into halves, into thirds, and into any parts we want. And then we can compare. Does that make sense? Yes. Fractions are easy, aren't they? Yes. Fractions are? Easy. Yes. Fractions are? Easy. Yes. Fractions, are? Yes. Yes. Right. Fractions yes. made easy. Yes. 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 All right, now, converting them into? Yes. Quarters. Quarters, okay. Someone said quarters. Quarters are easy. So we put go halves and then half them again. Question. How many quarters in a hole? Oh, sorry. Uh, How many quarters? Sorry. Quarters. <laughs> no one else. I'm about to say that. <laughs> How many quarters in a hole? One. How many quarters oh. in a hole? Oh, sorry. Four. Well done. Next question. How many quarters make a half? Shh. How many quarters make a half? Um, two. Well done. Uh -huh. Is a quarter less than a third or greater than? My favorite student. Is a quarter less than a third or greater than? Yes. Well done. Can we clearly see? So what I'll do is I'll give you a handout of the fraction wall and I'll give you fractions to compare and draw on that fraction wall. Easy? Yes. Any questions? Do we copy that fraction wall? Yes, you will. All right. Are we done? Yes. We'll do equivalent fractions tomorrow. Yes. Great. Yes.